Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm off to work. I have three 12-hour shifts. Uh, today is Tuesday, so I have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And uh, so I'll be um, doing a lot less in my eBay business uh, the next three days. Um, I will get off on time because these are paperwork days. So on paperwork days, I don't really run the chance for the most part of having to stay late or anything. When I'm on the floor as a nurse, now that's a different story. It could easily turn out to be 17 hour days. So um, today's kind of a chill day as a nurse. Um, by nursing standards, six to six is actually a pretty chill day. Um, and I'm running a little late and that's fine when I'm on the paperwork because I'll just stay till like 10 after 6. If I don't get there till 10 after 6 in the morning, I'll just stay till 10 after 6 tonight. On these paperwork days, I can leave if I wanted a lunch. I can go back and forth. Um, I don't take a lunch usually as far as leaving the building and clocking out because that's um, that adds up, you know, over three days. My whole goal is to, you know, be de totally debt free, pay my house off. And when you make what I make per hour as a nurse, clocking out for 20 minutes, that, that really adds up over a month's time. So I can, and there are some days where I just don't have it in me and I need to go get a breath of fresh air and get a Diet Coke. And that may be today by the time I do um, six hours of paperwork. <laughs> but um, right now I'm feeling good. I got up at 3.30 this morning. I did do a 15 minute workout, um, just some weights, trying to get that energy back into my life. Um, I'm losing weight from going back to nursing and really taking only certain food to work. But I also am just, um, doing a lot of paperwork in a chair and you can tell right now I'm I have a standing desk at home I gave up having a chair at home a long time ago because of my back and so now I'm not used to sitting in a chair at work for um, two or three 12 hour days so um, that's the issue but uh, I feel good uh, I'm really rested slept good and so today's gonna be a good day so I did list a bunch yesterday of those items I've been talking about that took me a week and a half. I listed about 20 items yesterday. I launched probably 10 of them and the rest are going in this morning and then they're going in tomorrow. Then uh, I have about five here that I'll try to do when I get home, only I'll schedule them out for Thursday. And then I gotta get taken um, some photos for my VA. Uh, I don't have anything in the pipeline right now, and that's discouraging. I really want to have 20 or 30 or 40 items at all times coming from my virtual assistant, and I haven't sent him any photos, so he can't do his work if I don't do mine. But I've got two orders, and then i got to take off here. So um, two orders for a total of $42.47, which is good to have any orders at all considering that I hadn't listed for probably a week or two, and I just finally listed yesterday, and I'm getting back on track. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret nightgown. It's just a plaid nightgown. I have had this thing forever. It is a woman's medium, and it's kind of a country-looking one. It has green kind of a velour on the neckline. Really cute, but um, it just took forever. This is number 3,643, and we're on the 6,000s now, so I've literally had this probably two years. So I guess it might be the size medium. It's kind of more of a night shirt, but not a really long night gown. Um, I don't know why it didn't sell better, but it didn't, so I took five bucks for this thing, and $11.99 total, and I'm honestly happy to clear it out. Sorry, I didn't have my scale on. 11 ounces, so I'm going to mark it up to 12. This is going to Union Beach, New Jersey. I charged $6.99, and it's going to uh, cost $5.17. So, yeah, um, I'm really excited about finally getting this cleaned up. I, I don't know if you can see behind me, but my floor has half of what it did on it. And... Um, I am leaving on Friday to go sell more clothing, go take more stuff to consignment. I still have probably five or six weeks worth of consignment clothing 
that I bought this summer. I did really, really good at that. I really stocked up. Make sure I've got paper in there. I don't know if I do. Let me add some more. Okay, let's try this again. So yeah, so I'm really, really happy with the stuff that I have stocked up to sell. And so uh, I still have a $400 credit in Wyoming. I keep spending 50 or 100. I'll take a whole day, I go to that store. I literally spend hours at the store and I'll spend 50 or 100 because I am so picky at what I buy. And then the next week, a lot more of my stuff sells and I end up with the same amount of credit that I had before. I think um, when I was there last, I was down to about 350 because I took 50 of it to go to um, the Goodwill with. And uh, so we'll see where I'm at when I go on Friday or Saturday. Now this is a Bolo brand. This is DWFH. And this stands for Death World Feral Hands. So DWFH, the, the way I found what this meant, I think it was down here. Yeah, it's down on the actual like fabric tag that would be down under the jacket. This looks like just a normal jacket. It's kind of a mauve, kind of a mauve, you know, pink. It's got a spider on it. That may be their symbol. This is the first piece of this brand that I've ever had. Um, this is a men's small. So uh, if this had been a, a large, extra large, I would have gotten a lot more for this. But I still sold this for $31.38. Uh, they did use my 25% off coupon and my promoted listing. I have had this a while, probably six months. Let me go see. Yeah, May 11th, so June, July, August, September, October, November, six months. Yep, six months, pretty much, you know, exact. So um, that, I think it was due to the size because the brand itself has a halfway decent following. So um, I probably could have sold it much sooner if I would have just put 20, 25 bucks on it, but that's okay. Uh, glad to have this sale that brought my average for the day up. Uh, otherwise, I would have had one $5 sale. So I am very happy with this. This keeps me where I want to be. An average sale price, not, not each item, but an average sale price of over $20. So uh, two into $42.47 is obviously over $21 a piece. I'm really happy with today, actually. Um, I want to get up to where I have... 14 items going in a day and 14 sales a day and if you stick with the $21 or profiting an average of you know $20 on each item that does become $100,000 a year in sales so that's where I'm headed uh, I'm not I'm not near where I have 14 items a day coming in yet I'm not sourcing that much yet but that is the ultimate goal. Um, and to keep my nursing job, that's the ultimate goal. We'll see if I can do it. Um, I charged $6.95 and I'm going to spend $6.78. This is going to Boston, Massachusetts. So guys, that's all I have. I'm going to um, come home tonight if everything works out. I'm gonna try to do this haul for you. I've got I don't know, seven bags of stuff um, that I got at the Goodwill and a few different places the last week and a half. So I really would like to get that haul to you and uh, do some photos tonight. Um, so that's why I tried to work out this morning so that I could stay up until about nine o'clock tonight and get some things done. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a good eBay day or if you work a, work a nine to five, I hope you still enjoy it and have a good day and I'll catch you maybe on tonight. Bye-bye.